Welcome back to the channel, Nomadic Vegan. It's uh, it's been a uh, bit of time since I last posted, but I'm hoping that's all going to change today because I'm at the airport and uh, I'm out of here. Okay, so over the last uh, last couple of months, I've gradually been getting rid of all my things. Got rid of my car. So I sold pretty much all my belongings, or I've given to charity, or I've given stuff to friends. Uh, and all I'm left with, my whole belongings, is that. <laughs> that is everything. I wanted to go minimalistic. Well, that's pretty minimalistic. Um, and it feels good. I don't have, you know, the, I think the less things you have, the less things uh, you, you worry about. Um, and it feels quite liberating getting rid of everything. I'm obviously flying out today um, and some people know where I'm going, some of you all know where I'm going, some of you won't. And for those that don't know where I'm going, I'm going to Seoul in South Korea for a minimum of three months. Yesterday afternoon I came to the airport and I stopped in the Radisson Blue Hotel. So I figured um, I would stay here last night um, due to ease of literally get off the train station and you're at this hotel and then obviously you walk out and you're at the airport. You can't use the restaurants in the hotel, everything is, um, is room service so my meal last night they brought to the room which was really nice, I had a, a curry, like a vegetable curry. Uh, this morning breakfast was brought to me at seven this morning and I had um, mm, some toast and some hash browns, beans, mushrooms, coffee. So yeah, so I'm packed up, I'm showered, I am ready to go. I'm just doing a quick video now. I've already checked in, so I'll just need to go and drop my bags off. When I get to Korea, um, from, from looking at the procedure, um, there's a possible chance I'll probably get another test at the airport and then um, I have to agree to go into a, um, a quarantine facility, uh, a government quarantine facility, um, which is one of the hotels. You don't get to pick which hotel it is. The hotel will be at my cost and then I'll be taken to my quarantine hotel where the 14 days will start the next day where I will be confined to my room for the whole 14 days. Uh, meals will be delivered to my door and I will not be allowed to leave. But obviously at the end of the quarantine, uh, I think I get another COVID test on the 10th. So that will probably be three, probably three or four tests and a two week quarantine before I'm allowed to leave. And then after that, uh, I'm free to leave and I've then got some Airbnb accommodation, Airbnb accommodation booked uh, and some other things which I will talk about later. But yeah, exciting times. Um, exciting and, and yeah, not really knowing what, what's going to happen. But you know, but I'm I'm looking forward to it. Um, this is this was the plan all along to, you know. Um, see, my mate, my main aim is to get back to China uh, to go and see Ruby, um, but uh, obviously we can't do that at the minute. So Korea is pretty close to China uh, and I'm hoping that it will be easier for me to get into China from Korea than it will be from, from the UK, the way things stand. So fingers crossed, um, I'll be able to stay to the end of February um, and then, you know, I'll have to make a decision then on where I'm going to. Obviously I've got a return flight booked back to here, but I'm hoping that I won't have to use that and I can use it for somewhere else. Let's see what happens. So yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna stick my boots on uh, and I'm gonna head out. Peace. God, have you ever seen Manchester Airport like this? <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I've made it. South Korea, Seoul, the Marina Bay Hotel, which is going to be my. This is the government quarantine facility, which I'm going to have to stay here for in this room. I can't leave this room now for 14 days from tomorrow. So this is it. This is my room, which I've had to pay for. I'm not sure exactly how much it was. I'll have to check the receipt, uh, check the conversion. Um, but I'll do all that tomorrow. I'm absolutely knackered. Oh, um, in fact, I don't even know I've got this mask on. I've had this mask on for 24 hours. Well, not this particular one. I have changed it over a few times, but... Oh, man. Wearing a mask for 24 hours, and the only time you can take it off is um, when you're eating on the plane. This is the bathroom. Looks quite nice. That's it for now. I am absolutely wiped out. Um, you know, people complaining that they have to wear a mask to go shopping. Well, you want to try wearing it for 24 hours. The bands around the back of me, my ears are just sore from having those bands around the back of my ears. Not pleasant. Right, okay, so I will speak later. Peace.